everyone and welcome to Class Cancelled. I'm your host, Alyssa Alexange, and today we're just a short drive away from Akron in Canton, Ohio to explore five cute little shops on 4th Street. So without further ado, let's go and explore. Let's head on down to Boom Dayata to make some new plant friends. So we're here at Boom Dayata, which is an awesome little store on 4th Street. And can you kind of tell us a little bit about your store? Sure. We're right in the heart of downtown in the Arts District. We are down here to make earthy things and get small groups of people together to relax and create. Oh, well, that's so cool. So I know the name Boom Dayata is super unique. Um, can you kind of tell us a little bit about how you came to discovering that name and using it for your store? It was more of an act of desperation to be honest with you. I had all kinds of little clever things that I'd come up with and they were all taken. So I kind of threw up my hands and went for a walk with my daughter. And uh, she put the little guy she was babysitting in a swing and started singing this song that I sang to her and my mother sang to me. It's just, I love the mountains, I love the rolling hills, and it goes on and on, and then it says, boom de yada boom de yada boom de yada boom de yada and that just seemed like the right thing. I know you have little workshops for people. Can you kind of go into those? Our first love is enclosed terrariums. That is enclosing plants in glass in a bottle or some kind of a jar. The other category is little aquatic ecosystems. And this is a tiny, tiny version. We have a lot bigger ones, but this is a Japanese marimo and it lives for a hundred years. The Japanese will name them and they'll hand them down through the family. Super sentimental and also super easy. Third category that we do a lot of are succulents and at the moment we're doing, we're planting succulents on pumpkins. They root into the pumpkin and then you slice them off later and you have a little succulent garden that you can pot and plant and keep going. So every first Friday, which is a downtown thing, we try to come up with something new and kick that off and keep it going as long as we have things. Getting together with your friends and mm -hmm. coming down, spending a little time together. Well, Boom Dayata seems like an awesome store and I know I'll be <laughs> coming back. <laughs> Thanks, Elizabeth. Next up is Cantonology, where you can find all things Canton and some cool crafts. Right now we're at Cantonology. What was the inspiration for Cantonology? It was actually my mom. My, my daughter and I, Mandy, uh, do the, the studio together. So her grandma, my mom, took hundreds, thousands of pictures in Canton. It was kind of her thing. And you can see from this, how complete she was. She would just take pictures of everything. When we thought about what would be a good fit for downtown Canton, we thought what better way to add something to the community than to highlight the city itself. So I noticed there's a lot of whales around your <laughs> yes. store. Is there a significance to that? And can you explain that? Willie. So back in 1958, Willie is a big concrete whale. He's still there. He's down at Mother Goose Land Park. He's down off of Tusk. And whoever built Willie must have done a really good job at the park. Kind of think in terms of like a, a fairy, uh, the storybook forest. You would go in and there was just a whole bunch of different Mother Goose Line characters, sliding boards that looked like the old woman in the shoe. And it was just a fun place for kids to go. It opened in 1958. It closed in, I think it was about 1989. Yeah, but the park is still open, Willie is still there, it's still called Mother Gooseland Park, but Willie's about the only thing that's left because nobody can move a concrete whale. What kind of aspects to your, to your shop or workshops do you have that you think maybe college students could come down and enjoy? Over on the other side we do a lot of Canton stuff, but on this side the other thing that when my mom was the inspiration for was she was very big into arts and crafts. She would have little crafts for us, my, my brother and I and the neighbors, she did the same thing for my kids. 
So some of the things that we've done, we make beaded bracelets sometimes. A uh, seasonal favorite um, is the, the uh, doodle pumpkin. We've done macrame before. We've done the, um, the little tote bags. Stopping down, there's almost never a time that you can't make a bracelet or something like that. Message us, you know, we can definitely put anything together on a fairly short notice because we have all the supplies down here. Yeah, that sounds awesome. And I know personally, me as a college student, sometimes I always like to just do fun crafts to kind of calm down if yeah. I had a busy day. I feel like it's a very fun therapeutic almost it is. thing that people can do and it's just really easy, so I feel like a lot of college kids could benefit from that. You're welcome anytime. All this shopping is making me hungry. I think we should go check out Fromage du Monde. I have a very long history in hospitality, and my family are big in hospitality here locally. I'm married to an executive chef, and we knew that one day we wanted to have our own business, but we also knew we didn't want a full service restaurant. So it took us a long time to be able to think about how to bridge that gap. And um, when we just came across this sweet little cheese shop in Cincinnati one day, we thought that's how you bridge that gap. It's a way to have a hospitality business that is a specialty niche in downtown Canton without it being full service. So that's a picture of my grandfather when he was a little, little boy um, in Cincinnati because that's where my family is from. And he is standing outside of his mother's bakery. I think it's super cute that it has my family's last name in the neon um, letters outside the shop. And I just, I always thought it was an adorable photo and it kind of speaks to the legacy. My favorite menu item is the house favorites flight. So cheese flight is an excellent way to connect with people and to try new things. It is three different cheeses. We give you one that is a cow's milk, one that is a sheep or a goat's milk, and then also a blue. And the flight comes with our house-made compote, stone mustard, candied pecans, house-made pickles, crostini, and a dried fruit item. And it's really nice, it's a nice shareable item for two people. Wow, that sounds delicious. You can always tr try something new here, and we really, really do work hard to keep the items, you know, fresh and interesting. And like I said, a lot of cheese is seasonal, so you can only get it at certain times of the year, which keeps it really, you know, fun. Let's head on down to Miss Lorana's Alchemical Apothecary to see what she has to offer. So, what are your favorite products here that you offer? Oh, gosh, I like so many of them. I would have to say right now my bath orbs. So I take like uh, all organic clays and salts and um, some baking soda and ground flowers and, and honey and oils and you put them in your bath and it turns your whole bath into a like a spa, the clay, oh, wow. and there's flowers floating. I think that would be awesome too, you know, just getting able to relax for once because I feel like in today's world it's kind of very busy and hustle and bustle and sometimes we forget to take time for ourselves. You're exactly right. I think it's time to skate on down to Collective to check out some cool skate gear. So, how did Collective start and how long has it been here on 4th Street? I've been in and around this my whole life. Uh, I worked at a couple mall stores and while on a vacation, making my now wife go into skate shops around the country, um, she said, I don't know why you don't just order, open your own. Can you kind of go into what merchandise you really sell and maybe what's your favorite um, skateboard in this shop? We sell everything that you need to roll. Um, hardware, extensive hardware, uh, boards, trucks, wheels, all that stuff. Um, apparel, skate specific shoes, uh, if it has something to do with skateboarding. My favorite board is probably my Jason Lee, which is up there on the wall. How does Collective, I guess, really help the Canton community and what's your like significance here, would you say? Well, it's the first 
dedicated board shop in the county. We've had an indoor skate park with a shop. We've had um, all the bike shops sell skateboards, um, but not to the level that we've done it uh, with the shoes and the apparel, because I mean, we do flannels and beanies and stuff like that. Having this jumping off point for people that are getting into it, and that's why I picked the name Collective, because I always wanted people to feel like they were part of it. Like, we're all in this together, it used to be our slogan. I've always entertained the notion of opening a second location somewhere on campus up there. Um, I would love to be there to, to kind of support that. And, uh, and Akron has always been, like when I was 13 years old, my mom took me up to Akron U to skate every Sunday. Me and all my friends piled in the station wagon and she took us up there to skate at Central Howard and we skated EJ Thomas Hall and we skated the ledges outside the Gojo building. Um, so like Akron is, is, is a good place to skateboard. Thanks for watching this episode of Class Cancelled. Hope you enjoyed learning about the shops on 4th Street. Don't forget to subscribe to the University of Akron's YouTube channel and follow Class Cancelled on Twitter and Instagram. See you next time. Class is cancelled. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. Do you want to gain experience in video production, professional social media, or working with real clients? Visit the UA School of Communications online or follow us on social media to learn more. ZTV, make media, make a difference.